Hey guys, Sinch here, and today I want to make a inventory showcase for you guys. It's actually my third time recording this, so I'm gonna try to hurry it up. So I'm sorry if I sound rushed, but last time I recorded this is like 20 minutes. And although that does sound ridiculous, it's like one minute per skin. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna try to do this one a bit faster than last time. Um, but I want to just give a quick explanation as to why I haven't really been uploading regularly recently, like I have been like at the beginning of the summer. So. The reason for that is I actually got a job. Um, those were my choice. My uncle just kind of texted me one day, told me um, that I'm gonna start working with him at a shopper's drug mart. If you don't know what that is, because they're only in Canada, um, it's like a drugstore. Well, like it's like it's got a pharmacy. It's basically like a Walmart, just shrunken down. They just sell like a, a lot of different things there. Um, yeah, but this one's not open. All he has me do is like right now. What I'm doing is just kind of putting like price tags on shelves as well as like putting up. Um, items on shelves. It's not the worst thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I got paid today for like two days that I worked last week because that's when I started, and um, I decided to spend it on skins. As stupid as that sounds, um, the reason behind it was because ever since I started CS, I wanted to get like a lot of nice skins for myself, like get like a nice inventory going. But I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do that until I got a job, so um, I finally got one, and I decided to treat myself to some skins. But I'm not gonna buy anything for this game after that and I'm not gonna really get rid of any of these skins and trade them. Uh except for like maybe like one or two, it depends. Um but yeah I may as well get into it. So first gun I have is my Glock. This Glock reactor is pretty nice. Uh it's field tested you can see the scratches on it. It's not the cleanest thing but um it's alright. I had one of these around winter time like Christmas because that was the last time I bought like a lot of skins for my inventory. Um but yeah I like it. It's like about a dollar Canadian. Um, all these prices are Canadian by the way. Um, but yeah, it's not the worst thing. It's not really the best thing either, though. I don't know, it's alright. Um, next pistol is those dual Brettas. Uh, these are factory new dual Bretta Cobalt Quartz. These are really nice, and I'm surprised that they're only like 30 cents. Um, especially for factory new ones. These are really clean. I don't really use the dual Brettas too much, though, but it's still nice skins, though. Um, next one is the P250 Mortos. I had one of these also. On Christmas time, it's probably the most like colorful P250. Like it doesn't have a lot of colors, but it's got like bright red on it, so it stands out a lot in game. And uh, it's a really nice P250. It's like a couple bucks, uh, but I felt like it was worth it because the P250 is probably like, my most used pistol because I always buy one of right off because uh, it's cheap. Uh, but yeah, not much to be said about it. It's uh, pink. It's really nice though. Um, next is my Tech 9 Hades. So. Um, um, I was gonna originally buy a Tech 9 Toxic, but I had to downgrade some of the skins I was buying because the knife ended up costing me like ten dollars more than I was expecting. And I'll get into that in like as soon as I'm done talking about the pistols. Um, but yeah, it'll basically make sense to do that. But yeah, it's pretty nice though. It's field tested. It's kind of scratching outside, but in game you don't really see the scratches too much. You're not inspecting it. And um, I don't know. I really like it though. These things are still pretty cheap because the operation just ended. And uh, yeah, not much to be said about it. Uh, next pistol is the Desert Eagle uh, Urban DD Pat Souvenir Field Tested. Um, so I had one of these before, like just before I bought this one. But it's just regular field tested. I decided to get a souvenir one because souvenir Eagles are kind of uncommon. Well, very uncommon. Um, and I decided to get this one because a fanatic pro player named Dennis is a very good pistol player, especially with the USB and the Deagle. He actually has the same Deagle skin, but it's like Souvenir Factory New with his own signature on it. But I don't know, it's really nice though. I like the sticker placement. All I wish is that the Fnatic and MLG stickers were like swapped. Swap spots though. It's got a zip mix on it. Nothing too special, but I really like it. The stickers don't look all that good right now, but that's just because this map doesn't have very good lighting. Um, that's all I have to say about that though. It's like five bucks. Um, so I guess I'm done with that. So I might as well talk about the knife quickly. So the knife I decided to get was a Bowie Knife Knight in Field Tested. So, um, you, I found these knives. I was gonna buy an M9 knight, um, and field tested. I was gonna try to get like a low float one, but those were like $170 for like a really low float one that looked minimal. And even then, it was super scratched up. And I found these for like 110 and they're usually they're clean. Like the last few like, the last few days, I've been checking them, and most of them are clean. But today, um, all the ones that were clean, like this is the cleanest one, like the cheapest clean one. All the other ones were like uh, really scratched. Like the closest one to this 
but it had like scratches along the edge of the blade and it was like 117 but I decided to buy this for like 130 at first I wasn't sure if it was worth it but I'm not going to be trading it so I might as well get one that looks really clean and like isn't going to bother me with all the scratches because I'm going to be using this for a long time but yeah I really like it um, if you guys know who Warl is he gives like tips and tricks he makes tips and tricks videos for CS and he actually uses the same knife but his is like stat track but uh, yeah it's pretty clean it's low float 0 0.18 float if you know what that means uh, it's basically very close to minimum more but uh, yeah so because I bought this for ten dollars more I wasn't really able to spend too much on some of the other skins so throughout this video I'll tell you like what skins I was originally planning on buying and then uh, you'll understand why so next one heavy I didn't buy anything from this uh, this blue spruce is just a drop from last week. I bought like Swag 7 on the other team. I'll see that. You guys will get to see that when I switch. Uh, so this is Tech 9 Nuclear Garden. Originally, it was going to get the commuter just because it was kind of. It was per I was going to purposely get it just because it's really ugly and it's from the baggage collection. But I decided to get this one. It's very nice though. Neon green. And uh, yeah, it's field tested. This is, it's got a big scratch on it, but I don't really mind. Right now, this skin's pretty cheap, though, just because the operation just ended, so the skins haven't gone up in price yet. But, uh, yeah, it's really clean, like I said, it's really nice. Um, next one is the UMP Ocean Foam, or UMP, MP7. Um, I, last time I had one of these was, like, New Year's Eve, I remember buying the skin. Uh, probably my favorite MP7 is, like, a dollar fifty, and I like it a lot more than the, uh, P2000 Ocean Foam, just because, like, you can see the skin a lot better than you can on, like, that small pistol. Uh, it's really nice though. How much are you said about it? It's factory new. Uh, yeah, it's probably my favorite MP7 skin. Next is my UMP Delusion. It's a stat track field tested. I was usually playing getting like a Primal Saber, but those were still really expensive, especially because they're pink. Uh, so I just decided to get this because it's stat track and it's uh, it had like a nice pattern on it, and the delusions are very bright like these. And they're very like bright colored. It's a very bright colored skin. And, uh, like I said, I like the pattern on it. Um, next I have P90. Nothing too special about this, just the field test that we built. I was going to get something more expensive than this, like a module, just because that's what I had back in silver. But, um, not much money, like I mentioned before. Um, so for the Bison, I got the Chemical Green. It's also from the Cash Collection. I guess for the SMGs, they kind of have, like, this whole neon thing going on. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's pretty cheap, though. It's like 20 cents for me more. And, um, yeah, it looks like that. I, I was thinking about getting the fuel rod, but they're a lot more expensive than this, and they're not as clean looking, uh, and field tested as I hoped they were gonna be. Um, so I just decided to get this. Um, so not for rifles. Uh, start with the auto. The auto I bought was the orange kimono. So basically, by the time I bought all the other skins, I had 40 cents left, so I just had to spend 40 cents between this auto, the Scar 20, and then the. AUG and the SG553 so I didn't really have much to spend but this is probably the nicest auto for the price like 6 cents so not much to be said about it um next one is my Galil it's a minimal wear uh, little rocket pop I like this though it's like the colors go well together and you remind me of like summer and stuff like that especially cause last summer I had this skin and uh yeah minimal wear it's clean but like there's still some scratches there if you look at it but uh yeah I really like it Next, I have the AK. So this is one of the skins I was thinking about uh, selling and buying a different one. So I was originally gonna buy a red laminate, and so like that's what I might sell this for. Um, but I decided that I was like I can pay a couple like dollars more, and I can get a covert AK. And I like the Aquamarine Revenge, and so does my cousin. Um, yeah, so yeah, so does my cousin. Um, and like the red laminate's nice and all, but it's only got paint on like the stock and the grip, where this got paint in the whole body. And um, this isn't the thing I don't like about this is just kind of how dark it was. I wasn't expecting it to be this dark. Uh, the scratches on it, so there's a couple scratches because this is battle scrape. Uh, but the factory new ones don't look too much cleaner than this. The only difference is uh, the barrel, as you can see here, the barrel has like most of the paint scraped off of it. The factory new ones have like that fully painted, as well as like the color is more like a like a minty green. This one's like a lot darker. So I don't know. I'm gonna use this for a few days. If I decide I don't want it anymore, I'll just sell it and buy red laminate. Um, so for the scout, I bought a Ghost Crusader. Um, it's probably the, one of the most detailed scouts in, this, in the game. It's got a lot of cool little details from it. Um, I really like it though. It's, it's a white scout. There's not too many um, white skins in the game. I know there's a detail that's a lot more expensive. Um, I don't know. I like it though. 
so for the cod gun, like the first cod gun, SG, I bought an aerial. I don't really use this much, I just decided to get a skin for it just because, I don't know, whenever I turn on random weapons in deathmatch, it tends to give me the SG. So it'd be nice to have a skin for it. I like the aerial though, I think it came out with the last case or the one before it, but um, yeah, I really like it though, it's not much, but it's something. Um, next one is my op, it's the last rifle. So this is my op safari mesh. Um, if you know anything about the battle start ops, you know that the safari meshes don't come this uh, battle start too often. In order to get one this battle start, you usually have to pay like over a dollar and look through both of the pages on the Steam Market. I actually found this on the second page, so I was pretty lucky with this one. Um, I've seen a few other ones since I got this on the trade service and stuff like that. They're usually a bit more battle start than mine, but not by much. So I'm pretty proud that I got this for like market value. And I put a couple G2 stickers when they're like 30 cents on the last day of the tournament. Um, so that's about it for T side. I think I got all the pistols and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna quickly switch over to CT side. Go, go, go. Okay, so for T side, for CT side, my starting pistol is the USB. This is one of the few um, skins I actually kept from my old inventory. Um, I was gonna buy stainless, but stainless is like a dollar and doesn't actually have any paint on it. It's just kind of silver and black. So I decided to just kind of save a bit of money there so I can be able to afford some of the other skins and not have to really worry about that. But yeah, it's pretty nice though. It's not like the cleanest, but it's pretty clean for field tested. Uh, as you can see, the top's kind of scratched though. Um, but yeah, it's really nice though. It's a lot, a lot better after they changed the suppressor on it from like black to this blue color. Um, and for the 5.7, I have the Violet Damio. This came out with the last case, I think. A lot of people really like this 5.7. And it's really clean for field testing. Uh, there's like one scratch on the mag right there. But other than that, it's really clean. It's made by the same guy who made the M44 Evil Damio. But yeah, it's really nice. Uh, 5.7. Probably one of the best ones I've had. Um, so this is the max I was talking about, the Seabirds, Minimum War. I actually really like this just because I really like the colors on it. Max 7 is probably my most used shotgun. I just find it fun to use. Especially like Camp Upper and stuff like that. Or like a hold banana on Inferno. But uh, yeah, it's really nice though. So, um, so for the COD gun, I just got the all to them. Not much behind this. I had one of these before because I won it from CSGO Lounge. Back, uh, back when he could still gamble on that, because Valve recently shut it down. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, it's really nice though. I don't, it's not all that nice, it's like 6 cents, but I just like how it's got like splashes of orange on it. Um, next rifle is the FAMAS. So I was originally going to get the Valance, but I was able to save like 20 to 30 cents by getting this Sergeant. It's not all that nice, but I don't use the FAMAS too much, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, it's like, it's still not that bad. Um, it's like some of the other ones, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. So for the last one, actually second last crap, hold on. I'll, I'll do one quickly before that. This is Scar 20 I have. Carbon fiber, nothing really too special about it. I just bought it because I only had like, uh, very little money left and it's probably like the nicest Scar 20 for its price. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, so back to the M4. Um, this is my Cyrex. I was originally going to buy a Flip, this a Hyper Beast, but it's like 15. And this is like uh, 10 field tested. I've never had a Cyrex before. I've actually had a Battle Scar Hyper Beast though. Um, my throat's being really dry. But, um, yeah, not much to be said about it. The float, it can be a bit better, but I just bought this because it's the cheapest one. Plus, it's got like Phase and Astralis stickers on it. Um, a lot of people don't like the A1 anymore just because they got nerfed. I still like it though, because like, although the clip isn't as big and the fire rate isn't as good as it used to be. Um, I just like using it a lot more. I find myself more accurate with it. And, um, I just don't like using A4 that much. But yeah, um, it's really nice skin though. I think I've wanted one of these for a while, and it's nice I finally got one. Especially since, like, they're only 10 bucks now. They used to be, like, 30 for Field Dusted or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's really all the skins I have for this video. I have one more clip at the end. It's about two minutes long if you want to watch it. It's nothing too special. It's really anticlimactic. I don't know. I just kind of feel like putting it in there just because I recorded it. 
<coughs> and it's kind of, it has to do with this inventory. Basically, I just went into a deathmatch, and if you ever buy skins off the market, and it says one new item, like, uh, however many new items in your inventory, if you press OK, then it lets you look at your inventory, but if you join a deathmatch and you press OK in your inventory there, it shows all the skins you bought in, um, chat, and it says you received in the trade. So I tried to see that, see what reactions I can get. Sadly, I didn't get anything too special. You can check it out if you want. I only kept it in there because I got a few knife kills and I was doing a good job of showcasing the knife. And you can kind of hear like my first impressions of it. Like my really raw first impressions of it. But uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say for this video. Hopefully it isn't too long. I tried my best to speed it up. And uh, yeah, bye. Okay, you ready, Mas? Yeah! Wait, do I have to censor my soul? I already started it. <laughs> hey guys, AZ here. Singe I now! I mean, Singe! Singe! <laughs> hey, hey guys, Singe here. Uh, when well, it's actually sick and a lot of it shows up. I even... Wow, I wasn't even loaded. Is there a crowd uh, reaction? No, one guy went dot 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 in chat. Nobody said a single word. <laughs> that sucks. Are you gonna use this stuff? Yeah. You try her!